Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. How good is that? Welcome to the podcast. Um, who ordered the honesty? <laughs> That's what you're going to get on today's podcast. Um, going to give a bit of a breakdown for you, Fitz. Uh, could be what's known as a midlife crisis. Oh, yeah, you Ben Affleck stage. Yeah. You're wearing a chili yeah. peppers. Well, JLo's asked me to move in. <laughs> well, I've said, no way, babe. You back off. I'm whipped from the block. You, you had a tough day yesterday, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Um, I got on the scales for the first time uh, in a long time. Um, they said, one at a time, please. Oh. It's actually a Simpsons reference. Um, so oh, I you've thought you'd never seen that. it before. I'm, we're proud no. of you, mate, that you're actually learning the Simpsons references from us. Um, sometimes you got to check in with yourself, and that's what I did yesterday. we we'll hear about it on the podcast. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Do you know Salim Mahaj is selling his house? Oh, Salim. The house where he got married out the front. You um, mean the one with the staircase? That's the four-storey mansion, 13-car garage, swimming pool, spa, Swarovski's crystal chandelier and the Persian onyx staircase that he couldn't pay for, remember? Yeah, there was a million-dollar staircase there. <laughs> Great way to spend your money. But I think he also was famous for having a party there where he paid $50,000 for Tiger to come and perform. <laughs> no, it was Little Bow Wow. Oh, was it? it was little, oh, no, Tiger. I, I think was there as well. Man, how did I miss that night? Uh, just on houses as well. The guy, you know, the Lambo guy that's on the block and he's Portelli, buying. Portelli, is it? Yeah, and Adrian Portelli. Yeah. He's admitted that he may have paid too much for some of the houses on the block. <laughs> <laughs> what, almost like he bought them for promos? So but he, he just. He on sells them, doesn't he, through his. He said one Business. of the house. He's, he's admitted one of the houses that I bought. I may have paid a one million dollars more than I should have. Yeah. It didn't help when he was bidding against himself during the show. He did, didn't he? He repeatedly raised the price by a hundred thousand dollars, despite no one else bidding against him. Anyone? Anyway, no, I'm going to go in hard. I'm going to go in harder against that guy. Oh, that's me. Smart move. I've got, why have I got two hands in there? So he's admitted that I may Maybe. have gone too hard. But you know what? Do you the, know what? the winners of the block aren't. And and he'll be Warren. back. He'll be back at the uh, end of the next season of the block. He'll be buying again. So there's um there's a couple of great stories, a couple of rich dudes that are... D- Good luck, guys. We, um, we haven't heard about Salim for a while. No. Is he in prison? No. Well, he was for a while. I think he's out now. But this is a um, this is a mortgagee in, in possession sale, so they they have to sell his house. So the days of the Rolls Royces, the yeah. Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, God. the fighter jets going across, the four helicopters for his wedding, those days are over. If he just hadn't had that wedding. <laughs> just, you know what? If he just if hadn't <laughs> had that wedding... Like, it's meant to be the best day of your life. It turned into the worst day of his life. If he just kept it to himself, or he, if he did it out in the country and no one knew about it, everything would have been fine. No one would have known about Salim Mahajan. You know what? I'm just going to go to births, deaths and marriages. <laughs> We're going to knock it on the head, hand on the Bible on the day. Done. All right. Ex- expensive <laughs> wedding, lost his marriage. It wasn't a good day, was it? This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. <sighs> Bit of a tough day yesterday. I think every now and then you kind of got to check in with yourself. And we've been talking about 36 months fits and the idea of changing the legal age kids can join social media from 13 to 16. Yep. Even as an adult of 44, sometimes you just see yourself and you think, Needs a bit of work done. Yeah, what am I doing? Huh? We, we, no, I said need a bit of work you. done. Oh, right, okay. You know, yeah. Let me do the right, explanation right. of the issues I have with myself. <laughs> Don't you launch into listing them. Well, oh, I've no, got I, a list can, here. No, well, I can go through them. Okay. I just, I watched some footage of myself yesterday. And I, I don't like getting down on myself, and I don't like people getting down on themselves because they've got to understand how other people see them. And you're more critical of yourself than anybody else. Yeah. But yesterday I watched some footage of myself and Dr. Billy Garvey with 36 months. We went and spoke to some schools. Went out to uh, Granville Boys High. Awesome work they're doing out there. Yep. Beverly Hills Girls School. Fantastic stuff. But I looked at the footage of myself and went, oh, mate, you really need to check in. There was a shot of me in the car sort of shooting up, and I went, look at the size of those chins. Shooting, shooting up. up. Yeah, sorry. That's a, that's a, <laughs> well, that's probably not well, the right thing to do when you're about to go to talk to a school. That's called a, that's called a camera angle, Tom. I was shoot, the camera was shooting sorry. upwards. It is, really. 
Oh, <laughs> no. So there's my first issue. G'day I've got to get off the hammer. G'day, guys. I'm here for 36 months. <laughs> I'm sleeping for 36 <laughs> months. <laughs> Anyway, the chills He's just on the ch- nod. chins are plenty. Then I looked at the footage of me <laughs> helping out Kate Ritchie as she played for the Menai Hawks. That wasn't flattering. Strong wind with a silky shirt. Do you know what? It wasn't I, flattering. You, you're quite rude to the digital department here as well. Who huh? Lizzie and Che, they tr- just try to film you sometimes. And it's like, nah, do it again. Different angle. Okay. Do it from above. Just let them go, mate. They're just. I want to let you know what I did yesterday to try and fix what I saw. First thing was, got online, bought myself a posture corrector. Okay, I've got one of Have those you? as Good. well. Yeah. So now I'm feeling right. So people do this? So they don't really work. Great. The, the, no, no, but the thing is, the the only reason it Bad does style. work is because you feel it on you all the time and you try to correct. Yeah, because I'm very hunchback as well. Because I was going to try and wear one that came down like a crop top. So when people went, mate, are you wearing a bra? And I go, no, posture corrector. Yeah. But it would sort of flatten out my left breast, which would also be sort of unfitting. Um, mm-hmm. I had one and I wore it for too long one day, yeah. six hours, and I couldn't sleep that night because my Couldn't back you? was so sore. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So I got that on the way. It arrives from Amazon today. Then I got on to... Um, I bought some new scales. Not to stand on because those ones are broken. I'm sure they're broken because yeah. they read 103 again the other day and I went, no, no, no. It must be circuitry. Um, I bought some food scales to measure how, like how much special K am I having in the morning? Oh, come on, mate. You're not that stage, right. are you? Then I wrote down, I need new clothes, ASAP. Um, Lisa has offered to take me shopping. Um, then... We've got the Axel and Co. from Connor there we're giving away, which is the um, XL to 7XL <laughs> in the mornings. $200 for Father's Day. We do that every morning. Where do you think I fit in there in the scale of XL to 7XL? Um, then I uh, got on... I downloaded an app. Um, Better Me. It's sort of It's been served to me a fair bit on TikTok. So... Um, it said, are you over 40 and losing control of your weight? And I went, oh, my God, it's talking to me. Yeah. Yes, it's me. It's, it's like me. The, I'm waving. Can you hear me? It's like the algorithm knows you. I was yelling at the phone going, yes, I've been waiting for you. So today I start 28 days of calisthenics. Calisthenics? Calisthenics? What are you doing that for? I don't know. What's that? What is it? Activity. It's, it's like um, movement. It's like gymnastics, it's gymnastics, isn't it? Gymnastics, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. So I, I bought that subscription oh, last night. Biles over here. Is it? <laughs> oh, Simone <laughs> full of. <laughs> what? Um, and then I got onto ChatGPT and you know I typed it up, um, create a food plan that I can eat for five days in a working week. Yeah. Please include each day special K full cream milk, two boiled eggs, hand rolls, rolls with sushi, salmon and avocado, and. And I said, and total calorie count per day needs to be around 2,000 calories. So ChatGPT has written up a new food plan for me. Yeah. And as of today, mate, calisthenics and ChatGPT is going to have this rig hot for summer. Oh, he's the new Pete Evans. Yeah, right here. I'm thinking about getting a bum lift as well. Uh, Maria's given us a call from Guy Me. Have you got a message for Whip Maria? Oh, I do. Looking good, Whip. Don't be too hard on yourself. Sorry on the socials. Looking great. Oh, Maria. Maria. You've obviously... You haven't seen what I've seen. You've been worded up there, Maria, and thanks for uh, Mm. picking up your phone. It's very kind of my mum to put on a a, a Yorkshire accent this morning. Um, No stress. Maria, thank you for the support. I'll keep you up to speed with how I'm going. Um, I reckon people have these panic days, normally during winter, when they realise summer's just around the corner. But how far have you gone? Signing up to better me. Chat GPT and a set of scales. Well, this is the Posture thing. correct. Because today's 28 degrees, so tonight's going to be a beautiful, balmy night. And mm. this is where people go, we could have a glass of wine, couldn't, couldn't we? we? <laughs> Just one. Oh, two's not going to hurt. Oh, my God, there's not much left in the bottle. <laughs> and then it's all over. The Fitzy and Ripper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Vanessa in Ermington, welcome to the show. Ness, what would you like to talk about? I would like to talk about my current neighbour and the current wolf and the smell that we get at the moment is oh, of binchuk yeah. because he keeps feeding the binchuk. Oh, we've had cat oh, poo, we've had yeah. rats, <laughs> we've had the council, we've had the sheriff, yeah. we've had everything, nothing. So but you just have a combination of rodent poo, do you? Yes, but yeah. I'm not her direct neighbour, but the direct neighbour, I'm opposite to her. A couple of months ago, she got arrested because she wouldn't open for the sheriff. It was absolutely hilarious. 
Um, her dogs, she's got two dogs in the house. That smells as well because she doesn't take them out. Oh, no, no. That's and that's the smell we get. Tom got the uh, the nickname... Um, the binge hook. The binge hook as well from his aroma. Ness. Mm. And it can be really tough sometimes. Can you... There's no way that you can get rid of the binge hooks. No. I mean, they're, they're, they're native birds. You can't do anything, Ness. Nothing. Even the cats, we couldn't do anything. We had to catch them. The council gave us cages. Oh, my God, she Vanessa. Feeding them. Maybe she has a blocked nose. <laughs> Is there any chance she can't actually smell? So doesn't realise the stench in the entire suburb. <sighs> yep, and she stinks as well. We follow her <laughs> once in Woolworth to get some footage, okay. but we were not allowed to give that footage. Oh <laughs> we're talking, we're talking about a, film her? what's the aroma around your area if you've got one thirteen twenty four ten. But Eliza's given us a call. Avalon, you, t- you want to talk about a big reunion, Eliza? Yeah, I don't know if you've heard the news, but Oasis is actually reuniting. No one's talking about it, are they, Lars? It's, it's no, unbelievable. It would, nothing, it would be nothing compared to One Direction reuniting, though. Oh, oh big um, call. <laughs> actually, that would be a good support act for Oasis, wouldn't it? One Direction? <laughs> would you go to that, no Eliza? Way. <laughs> no way. No way. Oasis would have to be the support act for them. Yeah, it's amazing how many people on social media are zipping up jackets. Didn't the hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> They're all coming back. People are ready, lies. What did the Gallagher brothers say about One Direction at the time? Oh, they hated them, didn't they? Oh, yeah, they... Lies, would you fly to the UK to see them? Yeah, 100%. Well, we... we do you remember that first interview we did? Oh, yeah, but, we went to... Um, uh, where did we go to? See, we I sat had, backstage. Liam Gallagher says he wouldn't dare start beef with One Direction fans. So he is... He's, he's smart actually about it. scared of them. Didn't um, we sit backstage at the Horden and interview Liam? Um, yeah, I, no, no. Well, remember the first time they came into the studio here and they were only young pups? They were 16. Really? Yeah. Yeah, well, they, somebody brought that out, that interview, the other day. God, even we look young. <laughs> no, that's impossible. Thanks, Lies. Great, great chat, though, Oasis versus 1D versus Spice Girls reunion. Greg in Blacktown, what do you want to chat about, Greg? Uh, yes, Dave, you're talking about you, food. I have a chicken and salad whole meal roll every day. Yes. You sound passionate about it too, Greg. Um, that's, yeah. That's good eating, Greg. You, you're doing... So you don't grab yourself an energy drink and a, and a sausage roll at the petrol station on the way oh, to work? No, 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 no. I've got to keep on the healthy stuff. I do have some bad stuff, but not at that particular time, lunchtime, no. Yeah. no. Well, when are you doing the bad stuff, Greg? And uh, what are you having? Time, I might have a pizza or... If you want to call it bad, um, yeah. might have a pizza or a ham. Hamburger or something. Yeah, you want to call it, that bad? You have a bad, couple bad, of jars yeah. each night too, Greg, on the tins. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's your go oh, to? Yeah. What is your reward after dinner, Greg? Do you grab yourself a, a scorched almond, or what? What do you like to have? After di- oh yeah, after dinner, minute a little bit of uh, mini wagon wheel. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, the uh, wagon bit wheel. Of, bit of an after dinner mint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, mini wagon yeah. wheel. Well, Greg, 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 can I, do you mind? Look, I, you sound like you're in all right, Nick, but can we play a game of guessing your weight, or is that too full on for you, Greg? No, no. I'll um, play any game. Give I'm, yeah. I'm going to say 93 kilos. Where, what would you like to go? I'm going to say Greg's lighter than that, and that's why he's got the ability to consume the way he does. I reckon Greg's coming in at 83. 83. What about you, Tom? I'm too. No offence. I'm just tipping just over 100 for old Gregory oh, oh, from White sure. Greg. How are we going, Greg? Greg, how much do you weigh, mate? Jockey, 62 kilo. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it would be small. Jockey. Wow. I, so, Greg, you can eat whatever you want. You have the That's super, right. You have the superpower that I would pay for. Yep, just burn everything off, yep. yep. It, Greg, have you, are you a father? Do you have children? No, I don't, no. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you an outfit anyway. Axel and Co by Connor. There you go. Okay. But that's sorry, it's just large through to seven XL. Two hundred dollars to spend it there. No, but there. I think, I think you can get smaller sizes. Oh, you, Greg, can't you? Greg's going to be great in there. He's going to have a wonderful oh time. Greg, like a sleeping, sleeping bag. Yeah. Affordable menswear XL to seven XL, but it's at Macarthur Square and Westfield East Gardens. But Greg, brand new outfit, mate. Off yeah. you go with your little sixty-two kilogram frame. 
laughing. Okay, have a good day. Good on you, Greg. Right. Thanks for calling, mate. That'll be swimming on you. All right, the wedding <laughs> continues next. <laughs> He'll be going mate, camping in that outfit. Why would you give Greg? Why would you give Greg, who weighs sixty-two kilos, no, I, an XL to seven XL no, outfit? Wait up, wait up! It says affordable menswear sizes. Ah, oh, yeah, that is that's way too big for Greg. <laughs> I'm going to have Greg, to give it to Eliza. Greg's got himself a marquee. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Kate Ritchie. Yeah, yeah. Queen. Queen. All right, now, guys, you are going to need your thinking cap on today. Oh, no. When, so, you, when you giggle, <laughs> when you giggle and you say it at the same time, I go, oh, okay, okay, what's what, going on? What is it? Do you don't believe me or you do? Okay, what or you just this? think I'm super cute? The game is very simple. We know how it works. Three rounds. Each round, three songs. You just got to tell me how the songs are somehow connected. Let's kick it off with round one. God only knows what I do. Well, the sun's out. <laughs> Beach Boys, okay. Song number two. Come on, come on, come on. Leave me I love this family. Who, 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 who sang this song? Come on, guys. You're not even trying. It's round one. It's who, the who? cause. Oh, the cause. Okay, is it? gotcha. Andrea oh, got and the brother and got Caroline, it. I think her name was. You just gave it away, mate. What? Keep going. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you think you're so clever. Um, uh, Hanson. Third so- one, Hanson. <laughs> Song number three. So far from Hanson. Mr. Brightside. Okay, come on. It's round number Siblings. one. Jump in. No, no, there's no siblings. Are the killer's siblings? Yeah. No, no. What's his name again? No, Brandon Mr. Flowers. Mr. Brightside. So later, yeah, Gary Flowers, his brother, is no. the drummer. So who we got? So God, it's not, is it a religious thing? No? God only knows, uh, Beach Boys. Leave me breathless, the cause. Irish. The Beach Boys. So who we the got? Killers. The Beach oh, Boys. Mr. Okay. Cause. Bright. Yeah, the okay, killers. I've got it. Have Beach, you smarty yeah. pants? They all start with the. Yes! yes. Or the, however you like to say mm, it. The Beach Boys. <laughs> now this is... This is tricky. If you found that one hard, get ready for song number one in round two. And the Jay Z song was on. And the Jay Z song was on. So my song number two. Played out Blink 182 song. Now we beat to death in two songs. Okay. You humming doesn't mean you've got it. Song number three. Okay. So what do you think? You're Elvis or something? Don't impress me much. Who, who's the second artist? Halsey. Chainsmokers Halsey. They all have clicking in them? What kind Ooh. of clicking? Of your tongue or your finger? Fingers. Uh, let me have a look at the... No, no that is... Uh, okay, your tongue then. <laughs> uh, tongue clicking, no. <laughs> Miley Cyrus and Shania Twain, did they get up? Can we just listen to a little bit more of the Miley Cyrus song, Jess? Oh, they all mentioned another artist. Yes! Well done. I did not have faith in you. Two out of three ain't bad. (laughs) Two out of three. Well, officially you win, but let's do round three for fun, hey? Let's do it. Fun. Yeah. Mm. Get ready for song number two. That will give it away. Oh, dancing. Can we not play this song oh. as our <laughs> favourite from the round? Dream of California, song number three. Dream of California, They're all from California. No. no. They're all from LA. You've got a furrowed brow like you might know. Fitzy, what are you thinking? Are we going artist? Are we going down the artist road or the name of the song road? Um, okay. That's quite a big clue, but I it will is. tell you it's to do with the name of the song. Okay. Jamie's given us a call. Jamie, if a if a listener can get this, we're more than happy to yep. give you a prize. What have you got for us? It uh, sounds like um, those are just made up words or something. What made do we up got? words, Booty kind of fornication. Mm, bop and Californication. I think you might be right, James. Oh, yes, well done. 
This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. We're on. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's time for 60 Second Starts. Kate Ritchie's I'm Still Standing. Now. Discover your next Kia at Sydney City Kia, O'Reardon Street, Alexandria. We're going listener versus listener today. Kate's off. She's got leprosy. We found out she's <laughs> lost an arm. Um, she what, fell off in the office yesterday. Do we know what... Is she okay? I think there's a bit of food poisoning, Tommy. Yeah, you, just you, crook in the night. If so, you're listening, Kate, we're yeah. hoping it's okay. Lynn from Menai did give her a carrot cake That's over, over the weekend. And she smashed it. She had three pieces of carrot cake yesterday. <laughs> And I would suggest her toilet has been busy. Um, Kathy, uh, we're actually, the, it's Battle of the South Western Suburbs this morning. Kathy's in Edmondson Park. Hi, Kath. Hey, guys. How you doing? Kath, good to have you on. No doubt you played along in the car. Do you go okay? Oh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah, yeah let's see how we do it All right, you're up against Teresa in Waddle Grove. You and your hubby can relate to Whip's weight panic at the moment, Teresa. What's happening with you guys? Oh, uh, we're going through the same thing, you know. After 17 years of being married and two kids, going yeah. through the same thing with us. So don't worry, we're all good. Yeah, we're Teresa, all in the same boat. It's a battle, but you know what? We're uh, we're slightly overweight, but we're still happy, aren't we? Absolutely. Good on you. I love you, Teresa. I love you already. Uh, Kathy, you are going first. You get one wrong. Power goes over to Teresa. Whoever has the power at the end of 60 seconds, $100 up for grabs. But congratulations, ladies. You're both in the running for that brand new Kia Sportage SX Hybrid, thanks to Sydney City Kia. Good luck with that. But, Kathy, your 60 seconds, it starts now. What colour is yep. the Incredible Hulk, Kathy? Green. Yes. A pedicure refers to what body part? Pedicure? Yeah. The feet. Toes. Yeah, the feet is correct. We spoke about it yesterday. What is Australia's oldest chocolate bar? Uh, Cadbury Dairy Milk? Nah, it's Cherry Ripe over to Teresa. Teresa, Channing Tatum is engaged to which actress? Uh, Zoe Kravitz. Oh, that is a good get. Kia Ora is a greeting from which country? I have no idea. It's New Zealand. Back to Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, what is inside an Arancini ball? Uh, right. Right is correct, yes. Nashes and chompers are slang for what? Pete. Yep. Who released the 2022 smash as it was? Harry Styles. Yes. What state is home to Australia's largest zoo? One, two. Melbourne? No. So you, you've said... You've said Melbourne, Victoria. That's incorrect. It's South Australia. Power goes back to Teresa. You are the winner. Teresa, you've got it. Yay! Oh, my God, Kathy, <laughs> That was amazing. right on the buzzer. I'm sorry. It was a close call. Yay. Teresa, you got $100 and you're in the running. Oh, well, you're both you. in the running for the Kia Sportage. Yay. Wow, that's amazing. Good right, on you, girls. girls. Well, done. well played. This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. This is a sad story. You may have seen it in the news. Mariah Carey, heartbroken after revealing her mother and her sister died on the same day. Now, I'm not talking about the same day a year apart or five years ago, which I assumed it was. They both passed away on the same day. Suddenly? Were they sick or no? Well, the sister had had troubles. Okay. Uh, I don't know. She was sort of... Um, in and out of hospital, and the mother had cancer. So it was a long-fought battle with the mother, and sadly she lost her life. But the sister, it just happened to be, ran into further trouble in her life and passed away on the same day. When you day. actually you think of the span of a life, uh, to for that to happen on the same yeah. day... What are the odds? What are the odds? I mean, how many... I mean, how old are... How many... How many days have you lived if you say 60? 60 times 365. <laughs> okay, so please help us uh, out here. Just this running is... the odds on it, mate. Running the odds. Uh, and then you'll need to take into account um, the mother's age you know, also. A few uh, leap years so, in there as well. Yeah, so here, calculate give, it, give, a, <laughs> give or take. What are the odds? Um, so just say anything and we'll believe it. Uh, just go with it. 
2,915 days. Yeah. Wow. Does that sound right? Good odds, That's Tom. a lot. That, <laughs> That's a lot, mate. Whatever whatever that number was. You should was, see how many it. minutes it is. Yeah, I don't want to know. Okay. I actually don't want to know. So, so would that, that be a what, 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 what are the chances? chances? What, 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 what are the chances? You know, it's a bit of a sad one to kick it off with, but at the same time, the likelihood is... Whew, that's a rarity, isn't it? That's horrible luck. Has she written a song about that? Not yet. Uh, I would like to throw it out there, though. If you've got a what are the chances? I mean, we've had some phenomenal calls on this topic. When I was 15, I got bitten by a dog in two places, and then 25 years later, both bots turned into cancer. So I actually had a day working from home, which was unusual. And then the next day I went into the office and we were just having a chit-chat about our celebrity crushes. And I said mine was Sam Neill. And they all looked at me a bit strangely and they said, oh, come on, you're just saying that because he was in here yesterday sitting at your desk. The day I'm working from home, he's in there filming a documentary and in between takes, he's, he's at my desk. Amazing. Christine and Bexley, hello. Good morning, guys. Christine, um, what are the chances? Well, I was at a satellite listening to Nova, mm-hmm. and um, you had a Guy Sebastian song on. Yeah. And I looked over at the light, and you wouldn't believe it. No. Guy Sebastian was in the car oh, next cool. to me. Oh, well, Christine. No way. Yes, way. Did you wind down the window and... Yes, guy, and I was pointing guy, you're on the radio. to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> How bizarre. Christine, you must have thought, how did this happen? I just thought it was so, so bizarre. That's Christine. Mm. Was he picking his nose, Christine, or anything like that? He loves no, to pick actually, his nose. No, actually, he was looking in the mirror. Yeah, oh, yeah. that'd be right. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course we'll he will. We'll play was. that back to him next time he's in here. Louise in Alambi Heights. What are the chances, Louise? Uh, so I have two kids, and they both broke fingers on the same day at different schools in different sports. No way. <laughs> what are the chances? Was it the same finger, Louise? No. One was a pinky and one was a thumb. That's and when I got the second oh. call from the school, I was like, someone is joking me for sure. That's to be put on. They're not twins, are they? No, they're not. Do you know what they're that not. is? Louise, you know what that is? That's a voodoo doll. Someone's got a voodoo I know. doll with your kids. I know. Yeah. And both right hands. And they've so just like gone. Babies again. All right, let's just break these fingers at the <laughs> same time. Is, I mean, if you ask me, Louise is winning the family zoo pass at this stage. That's extraordinary. Belinda, oh, I didn't mind Guy and Christine. <laughs> Belinda from the Hawkesbury, what are the chances, Belinda? Good morning. I hope you guys are well. Um, so when I got my licence, my best friend and I got it 12 months apart. Yep. And the licence number was the exact same licence number Bar the last number, which was the next digit up. Oh, Twelve months apart, the and exactly the same license wow. number. Bar the last number, which was the next number, one in the sequence. It's Num- pretty number, amazing. Yeah, it is. Number plate, neighbours. Number, what are the chances? Tommy, what are the odds on that? If yeah. you could just run through how many number plates there are in New yep. South Wales. It'll take me a while. Uh, <laughs> Kath awesome. in Gladesville, what are the chances, Kath? Good morning. Um, I was 24, travelling around mm. um, the world and was in Bali, and I noticed a guy sat having dinner, and he happened to be my first ever boyfriend when I was eight years old, yeah. and it happened to be his honeymoon, which I was part of the wedding speech, and yeah. he had to pay his brother back £10 because he bet him when he was younger that he would marry me. That's weird. There's a fair, well, well, there's a fair, the chances? There's a fair bit going, going on there. there. There is. But, Kath, it is... Um, Ka- that is... That's weird. Like, what it's is it that... What, you wonder why the, the higher being brought you to to that moment together in Bali, don't you? Well, maybe his new wife needed to know who his brother was talking about. So. The, so yeah, but, Kath, was it awkward for the new wife that you were there and they were talking about your love and all that kind of stuff? Really, we, we had a chat while we were all having dinner, but um, yeah, yeah he was they, probably they thinking said, Let's about meet you. Up later, and we didn't. <laughs> um, do, you, do you know if he's still with his wife, or maybe there's a future for you and him? Uh, not sure. I don't think there would be ever a future. Well, you left the door open a little bit there, didn't you, Kath? You wouldn't mind having a bit of a look at it? Oh, I think, without a doubt, mm. Louise and Alambi Heights, with the, the both kids breaking their fingers on the on same, the same day, day in different schools. That is extraordinary. <laughs> Louise, you got to pass to the fan. Oh, sorry, a family oh, pass to Sydney Zoo, all right? Good on you. Thank you. That's awesome. No Good worries, you, Louie. Take <laughs> your broken fingers to the zoo. <laughs> this is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie Podcast. Love to know if you think you've got 
got a job nobody else does. If you are the only one doing something and you can't believe you actually do this for a living. I was actually quite proud being a denailer for a while there. A denailer? Yep, just taking nails out of pieces mm-hmm. of timber all day long. How long for you? Very you that unique. Gig? Well, <laughs> for about two months. Oh, it would have killed you. It would have killed you. Oh, How boring mate, is that? The amount of skin I took off my hands... Uh, that was before I even started the job. But I it's um <laughs> I it's, used to I used to recycle bricks. And that would mean at a demolition site you would go in there with a tomahawk, like a little axe, and you would chop off the old mortar oh. on each side of the red brick and then put that brick in could the new you, pile. Could you damage the brick? Would you get into trouble oh, you, if you damage no, the brick? No, you wouldn't get into trouble, but you'd take a corner yeah. off every now and then. Right. Uh, this guy's got an unbelievable job. He fat tests rides. At theme parks, <laughs> that is unbelievable. So he's a pretty or is big, that dangerous? No, because he goes in there and he says, so he'll sit down on a new roller coaster and go, you know, the bar that comes over the top. Yeah. He'll go, no, this doesn't lock into place for the fat person. I'm sorry, guys, you're going to have to put some new harnesses in. Well, see, I couldn't get on uh, at um, Dreamworld. There's the Mick Doohan Speed Racer. Oh yeah, I can't get on there because it, I'm too, too tall. tall. And then I was thinking, you could be the tall tester. I was thinking to myself, who's the tester of the tallness before they start the the roller coaster? Because what do you lop off a, a, a part of your head or some of your feet? Do you know what I'm thinking? You and I could go into business. Fat and tall tester. That's not bad. So we go to theme parks, we broadcast live, Tommy, and then test out the ride. So oh, the so the theme yes. park gets a good push and promo before it launches. Yes. And then we get on the rides and go, sorry guys, seatbelt. All sweet. Yep. <laughs> Do you know what? Guys, I've still got my head. You, you took people that are 199 centimetres can go on. Do you know what? There was a guy that I sat next to on the plane the other day and I felt so sorry for him. Uh, his seatbelt didn't do up around him. So he had to, what did they do? Oh, they had a seatbelt extension that they bought out. Oh. But just the fact that he had to ask for the seatbelt extension because it wouldn't do up around his gut. So even at the, at the the longest point. Yeah, and he was looking at me and he was kind of trying to shake it off as a bit of a joke. So he was going, oh, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? And I went, oh, mate, you're not the only one feeling it. God, wait till we take off on this plane. Uh, You'll see what's awkward. <laughs> with a guy with a fear of flying. Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll vomit in your lap within minutes. Sarah in Carlingford, let's talk about weird jobs. What do you got, Sue? I get to... Oh, good morning, for starters. That's all right, sir. So I get to cuddle puppies between flights at the airport. What are you talking <laughs> about, sir? This is transport, sir, is it? Absolutely. So if you're putting a dog on a flight and it has to do two legs or stop and wait before it's getting picked up, I get to go and cuddle and play with them to calm them down before the next leg of oh. the flight. Oh, what Man. a great gig. I mean, unless there's a whole lot of poo in the cage. What a <laughs> well, great that, gig. that does come with it. I've got to clean that up too. Do, <laughs> do they freak out sometimes, though, Sarah? Do you have to be really careful with certain dogs? Absolutely. Certain breeds are just absolutely terrified if you look at whippets and things like that. Yeah, They're right. a little bit nervous. But um, I'm wondering if I should incorporate that into people, if I hug them between flights, as long as they're not oh, on me. Do you know what, Sarah? <laughs> as a nervous flyer, um, I can't say I won't poo in the cage either, but I would love a hug mid-flight. That would be, or if you're leaving a loved one, there's Sarah just waiting for you just for a hug. Come over here. Can you hold my hand to the lounge? Luke in Balgala. Lukey, tell us about the job that you worked in over for 20 years. Fitzy, we're fine. How are you, boys? Good, Lukey. Good, good. Mate, I was a PI for 20 odd years. Oh, um, private investigator. I covered pretty much everything from kidnapping cases through to fraud, through to missing persons, oh. through to infidelity, through to wow. bug detection and scanning. Um, Luke, can you tell us, for, for an example, without revealing too much, what do you do in the process of a, a kidnapping case? Mate, it's it's pretty full on. Um, you know, you've got to collect data and look at timeline issues, um, close associates who's involved, uh, yeah, collect yeah. data and start basically tracking. We were using a lot of um, OSINT programs to you know, gather data from the dark web and intelligence gathering. Oh, my God. So that would actually assist us with geolocation tracking. Is it like... So, mate, it... Your mobile phone is pretty, you know, pretty handy for yeah. tracking people, so... Yeah. Um, it'd, be, it'd get boring, though, Luke, because there'd be a lot of stakeouts, wouldn't there? I always think of the movies where you're just sitting in a car and you're eating another donut, Luke, just waiting for someone to come out of the house. 
Think about all the fun you can have, mate. Pizzas, <laughs> drinks, sitting there watching, laughing. <laughs> hey, look, so tell me, so with the dark web, but I don't understand how it works or how you get into it, and I don't need to know that, but you reckon you can just find out the geo track of any phone number? Look, there's there's applications. So whenever you you know you download an application on your handset or whatever, you go into an agreement with these third party applicant, applicants, yep. and then you say like you know you're sharing and you're basically uh, sharing that data or information. And it's basically the company said, look, we need this information so we can better your service. But then that's basically on sold, um, or you can actually extract that information. So it's so... yeah, you just got to be careful of all these free services. It's not really free. You're selling a little bit of yourself at the same time. Yeah, because oh. they're selling the data, data, data. Uh, it, like it, some of the weird jobs. Yeah, is, like guys. Like I've had people ring up, and they've you know they thought that you know they've been bugged by the government, and they've got like a microchip under their skin, yeah. and they wanted me to scan them and things like that oh <laughs> for, for for bugs and things like that. But, yeah, obviously there's, there's um, some uh, liability issues there, but, um, you know, you got to be careful with that. But, um, yeah, there are some weird requests. Oh, my God, look, because I'd love to use you. I've got a, a mate who's pretending to dress as a guy for a really <laughs> oh, for a really long time now. Well, he's right um, here in the yeah, studio, you mate. Can, you don't have to track him. Stop trying to track me and microchip me every <laughs> morning. Just, That'd be terrific. <laughs> we'll get your details, Luke. We yeah. Yeah, thanks, Luke. Yeah, I mean, I might ask for myself. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.